if we were to do anything. Right. Unless, can I use the flute, maybe? Nothing happened, right. I am lost. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to know that you had to do this. Oh, hello. I will take the inner chamber, yes. You shall make the light of the stars and open the portal with help from the one in the four order. The inner chamber shall open its door. Okay. Well, if that was the hint, well, I don't understand it then. You see, there's this thing here. Faint smell of old chemicals comes from this adorned dish. You're supposed to mix the night elixir. As well as the sun elixir. And that does that. And ceiling natural story starry night. Okay. What does that do? The red star. Okay. Oh, do I need to use the crest key then? Ha ha. Faint click as if a lock opened somewhere. And I'm gonna be willing to bet it's this door. Sorry, <clears throat> was interrupted there. Let's continue on. I'm going to assume this door's open now. And it is. Right. Okay, we got three rings here. Alright. I'm gonna assume the only one we're we're only allowed to take the one that we need. That's the blue ring. Yeah. Can I take all of them? See a familiar apparition appear. Hello, Lagmare. Well done, Dell. It is good that you continue to follow this narrow path. You are the first person in decades to see my inner room. Your steadfastness has earned you this gift. The ring will open your eyes and the dead will be made known to you. But be aware. While you are wearing the ring of the dead, the living will fade away. And so, you have the gift, but what of the task? Behold, look beyond these walls to see what transpires outside. Yes, this very moment, the pieces are moving into place for the final game. Okay. Was I not allowed to pick up that last ring? Huh? What's going on? Who are you? Oh, was this his other disciple? The one that he was fond of, but was turning towards the Dark Arts? I think his name was Bel- Belier? Uh, 
Ba-da-ba-da. This man's name is Belzar. He is a sorcerer and was once a disciple of mine. I know his plans. He wishes to free the Warlock Lord from his otherworldly prison. This must never be, for the Warlock Lord's power is great and his purpose is evil. I know this because he was one of the Circle of Twelve. Yes, he was my brother. But this matters not, for if Belzar ushers him back into this world, we will fall. And the world will fall with us, but Del. There are things Belzar doesn't know. He thinks the staff is found, but it is hidden still. The last dragon, the lone survivor, the survivor also lives. You must seek out the dragon, and there you shall find the power which may thwart this. Alas, I can help but little, for release for reasons which shall be soon, <coughs> which shall soon be clear. For I live in the world of spirits, and I walk among them as one of their own. But I still say this, seek out Dorn in the first tower. He may help you. Fair enough. And I'll take this last ring. Yeah, why not? I don't know what it does. So, we have the Ring of the Dead equipped. It allows us to see dead things, but not living. Also allows us... Any of the books that were blank, we can now read. I gotta remember which ones that we've not read, though. Let's see, let's take that off for now. I feel lonely, but it quickly passes. Okay. I'll mark off the ones that we've read already. Right. <clears throat> so, let me grab... Just give me a moment here, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. So we should be able to put, be able to put on that. Uh-huh. What are the new books? So, first of all, we've got... Uh, we've read that, read that. The secrets of the staff. As to the creature that was sealed, even speaking its name is dangerous. It can surely hear its dark name as it passes my lips, but I shall dare to say it the name of the beast. That's the behemoth, isn't it? That's what he's... The warlock lord, the witch king, Talamar the black. One beast, so many names. Buried deep in the bowels of Shadowgate, he sleeps. Only the staff of ages keeps him from our world. The staff created by the Circle of Twelve and wielded by King Jer. And know this, that neither wisdom nor magic nor bravery could destroy the evil one forever. He sleeps nothing more. And as he slept and the morning sun rose, the Staff of Ages was lost once again into legend. But the legend can't, may be found again. Mayhap deep within the castle itself, mayhap in the Witch King's dark embrace, mayhap within the jaws of a dragon of stone mounted on wings of leather, mayhap the legend is nothing more than foolish talk. That's the Staff of Ages. Okay, and the next one we'll need is the Age of Enlightenment. These memoirs cover the stories, time of the past... Storied time of the past when true heroes still walked the land. I speak of those times following the demise of the Warlock Lord. Much has been said about the legend of Lachmere the Timeless and his young pro protege, Lord Jer. Much has been said, but little is true. This is a factual account of what has become known as the Age of Enlightenment, as presented by the former chief historian and advisor, Cal Torlin. Many grumbled and many formed opposition to Lord Jair's pronouncement of Lachmere's involvement in the rebuilding of Cal Torlin. They felt that it was Lachmere, his sorcerer's brother, and their feud with the Warlock Lord that created the damage. It is important to understand that the Warlock Lord was a man transformed by power. His embrace of the Black Arts forever severed his relationship with his brethren. He ceased to live as a man and sought to corrupt and change the land to a place where he could reign. 
He had to be stopped, because he was close to realizing his goal. But the commoners never knew that. They only saw the aftermath of the battle, which killed kinsmen and destroyed the land. So they grew distrustful of magic, all magic. They also grew to distrust Lakmir. But it was the current ruler, the beloved King Aronde, who urged Jer to work closely with Lakmir and his acolytes. And it was this legacy that Jer followed, when several seasons later, Aronde passed and left the throne to Jer. The rebuilding continued. Shadowgate quickly became a grand place of learning, where sorcerers who could learn, who would serve the kingdom could train. But its potential was never realized. Each season, fewer men came to seek the ways of the sorcerers. The bigotry against magic ran deep. This is where I place my sad musings to those who followed this account. I fear the fear of the kingdom of Kaltorlin. I have seen the weak-minded men who are training as sorcerers. I know, too, that Lakmir sees. I have also seen failure in his eyes. Perhaps his, this feeling comes from not being able to pass on his mantle. Perhaps it comes from knowing that soon he may be forgotten. Nevertheless, I have my own fears. I fear what will happen to Shadowgate and Kaltor Lin, should the last true sorcerer die. <laughs> and then the last one is... Let's see. The Abyss of Darkness? Perhaps that it? Book... Speeches, lecture notes, Abyss of Darkness, students. Okay, Abyss of Darkness. Pay heed, those who wish true power. Be aware, for darkness is right beside you. Its abyss awaits you. Like spring water, the darkness gently draws near, only to lead you astray. Like those seeking to taste a thirsty heart, to sate a thirsty heart, it gleams as though as fresh water. It swallows with the power of a raging river. It is current. You cannot quench your thirst. No, your thirst only hungers for more. Thus you seek more. That is the power of black or death magic. And its source, the dark places in the heart where light does not go. When one steps into the world of darkness, his soul is twisted and disfigured. He is reborn into shape into in which darkness dwells. There is therefore no longer a place in this land or light for one such as this. Interesting. I'm gonna keep the ring on for right now, I think. Just in case we can see something else with it. I don't know if we can, really. Right. So. What do we need to do, then? We got everything from that room, I think. Okay. I think we can leave now. Let me think. Where do we need to go? Nothing in either of those rooms, right? Can we go out this door now, perhaps? No, okay. Where to? Maybe now that we have the Ring of the Dead, we could go talk to that dead woman and get that book from her. Who was in the coffin earlier? Maybe, maybe we can do that. Let's go check it out. Uh, I think we need to go this way. Ring of the Dead. Okay, be careful here. Go back down here. Or we could check out that grave. You know, if we can't see the living while wearing the ring, how did we see those, like, crows? 
Um, that doesn't make any sense. How do we see that mouse? Oh, lady. Hello. Ah, a traveler. Maybe you can help. My name is Jezebel. I have a son, Saul, who see used to seek gold and gems with his partner, Lucas. One snowy night, he came home with a strange dead look in his eyes. Within days, he was gone. I haven't seen my boy or his friend since. After a fortnight after he left, I grew sick with the Black Death. So please, young man, do a heartbroken woman one favor. Find my son, Saul. And please give him this pendant. It was my favorite. He may recognize it. Please seek him out. This may help you too. My diary. Please, find my boy. She gives you the pendant. And then we can take the diary. Aha! I want your diary. Uh, Fateful night. My pendant give it to him. He no, 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 no. He sees it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I want your book. I want your book! Oh, do I have to take off the ring, perhaps? And now I can take it? Give me your book. Yes! There we go. Okay, what does the book have to offer? Family Diary. Month of Troll, seventh day. Festival had come and gone. I have just celebrated a joyless high winter. Without my husband, this year has been particularly bad. And of Saul, I miss him terribly. The nights have been long and lonely since he left me three months before. He is off again, seeking his fortune. I believe it's gold and gems this time, he said. He said he wants me to be proud of him, and he wants me to live in comfort. What use is comfort if I have no one here to share it with? I miss my boy terribly. Mador has tried again to cheer me up. The one, bless him. He has tried hard to keep me company this last season. That innkeeper has been the only bright spot for me. Month of Troll, Eighth day. My boy's come home. I am giddy with delight. Although he seems different this time, I asked him what he found, and the strange thing is, he lied. To me! The boy can do as he pleases, but to lie? To me? He has never done that. He has never needed to do that. He said he found nothing, but I saw him carrying something long and thin into his room. He must be sick. He is acting so strange. Month of Troll, Twelfth day. Things have gotten worse. My joy over ha having my boy back has faded. I do not know him anymore. He's changed. Gloomy, secretive. What worries me most is that he hasn't mentioned Lucas. I am afraid. Thirteenth day. Saul has left. Just left. No note. Just gone. Motor has confirmed this, saying that Saul was w at his inn all packed for traveling. He met a dwarven soldier who left with him. Twenty-third day. No word from Saul. I have made little energy left. I have... Blah, blah. No word from Saul. I have had little energy left. The healer says I may have contracted the Black Death. Carry it. I care not what happens anymore. I just miss my boy. I fear the rumors are true that my boy left to join that evil wizard's company. I pray that it is not so. That my boy is not in league with that snake. I grow weary. I think I shall sleep and perhaps dream of seeing my boy again. Hmm. Huh. Well, that doesn't bode well. Let's see, so from here... We got that pendant, but we can't really use it anywhere as of yet. It's locked. Don't have any new keys. No. Let's check out the courtyard, perhaps. We could go look at that grave. See if it gives us anything. If not, I'm going to be lost again. Which, honestly, isn't the best thing in the world. Okay. Anything from you? Haha! -ha! Look, halfling, look at one who was a disciple of Lachmere. Look at one who betrayed him. 
I left him for a world that one should never see, the world of black magic. And black magic never leaves a person once they look into its deep abyss. Nay, my soul can never be redeemed. Okay. That's it? That wasn't really worth it. To the graveyard then? Because I assume we still can't go through here. Right. Back here then, this would lead to the graveyard. I am a sorcerer. When I was young, I longed to be like the great sorcerer Lachmere. I remember training and learning with my fellow sorcerers day and night. Then one day I was allowed to undertake the tri challenge of the tri Tower of Trials. It was the day I had prepared for my whole life. I did not, however, go as I hoped. I failed miserably. I answered what I knew was right. Later I discovered the truth. Someone had tampered with the trials. I do not know how. I will find whoever did this. Yes, I will find them and make them pay. Okay, let's look at the other graves then. <laughs> who are you who disturbs the sleep of one whose wounds do not heal? Who are you who disturbs the sleep of one who fought the sorcerer black magic? I speak of Bill Bazaar, of course, who rose in power after Lackmere faded from the land. My colleagues and I dared to fight him, to crush his ambition, but we were naive. We never knew that Belzar, who had bathed in dark waters, possessed such power. Flee from him, traveler, as the night flees from the morning sun. And if he catches you, bow before him and hope that he has mercy in your soul. And kills you quickly. Okay. Another one. Traveler, cast your eyes away from me, for I had no power against the Witch King. Yes, the Witch King, or men call him the Warlock Lord. His power was too great. Even Lord Jair failed to destroy him, but rather he was simply banished. But the Warlock Lord's power lived on through his deadly minions. When Lord Jair confronted these demons, not even the staff could stop it. Aided by the spirit of the Witch King, the demons struck out at him. With insane fury, Lord Jair was driven back, the Staff of Thunder falling from his grasp. The staff may have been lost, but we could not afford to lose Lord Jair. I acted as a shield to protect him and was burned by the creature's hellfire. And, uh, you look rather different. Ah, visitor. It's been so long since I've had someone to talk to. In the past, when people mentioned wealth, they thought of Aristolan? I always had many friends about me. They were all eager to fall into favor with me. But that was when I was alive. In death, no one even looks my way. They divided up my fortune on the day of my death. I, all except for what I hid. The fools had no idea what they would not see my greatest wealth. Not a one visited my grave, and not a one will find my hidden treasure. Ha. Way to go, dude. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. It was a mistake, I'm sorry. Right, so... I think we might try and go back up here then. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there's a couple doors in there. Oh no! Can I not get back in? The, the frayed twine held your weight. Can I not get back up? Ah! 
Interesting. Well. What happens if I put you on there? One second. Yeah, I want to save. Thank you. What happens if I put you on? Put the on and the room begins to swim and you fall to the floor. Ha ha. So that one kills you. Yeah, at least I was in a cemetery. What about this one? As soon as you put the balloon, you begin to itch uncontrollably. I think my controls are reversed. Yeah. Well, that's strange. Well? I'm now lost. Not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Put on the pen and feel the old woman's spirit. Okay. Okay. Well. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Already got all that from her, right? We need to find our way to another tower. I think I'm gonna go take a look around then. Because I'd rather not look it up. I had to look it up for that potion thing to figure out how to get into the inner chamber. Because I don't think I would have been able to figure that out. Um, just off of, the, off of doing random stuff. I don't think I would have figured that out. But I'm pretty sure I can figure out what to do next from just wandering around. So, I'll probably see you guys in a moment unless I find it right off the bat. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Found a rusty key. What, what could I use that on? I need to find the appropriate lock. Where? Well, I found a key, but to what door? I can't think of... Oh, maybe it's out in the cathedral. Or does it go to this one? No, okay. Maybe it goes to the key, the door out in the cathedral courtyard. Courtyard. Let's give it a check. I don't have any other bright ideas. Of course, if none of this does work, then I'll see you in a few more minutes. See, if this doesn't work, I'll probably just go ahead and look it up. Because I didn't see anything else while looking around. And I'm going to take a drink here real quick. That's pretty good. It's not cola. Go this way. It's not cola by any means, but it's good. Right. Can I use the rusty key? No. 